interrupt our regularly scheduled program that's designed to interrupt your thoughts with breaking news. We have entered a state of national emergency because Elon Musk has just successfully bought Twitter and is taking over the company. Shall we go to Portland and riot the night away? What does this mean? And will we still have enough censorship elsewhere to destroy democracy? And what does the left think of Elon's free speech supporting move? And what's gonna happen at Twitter given the fact that many employees are leftists who told they don't like Elon now? You'll find out in tonight's Elon just bought the fuck out of Twitter special report. Oh, and spoiler alert, because we're the media, we'll conclude Elon's a racist. Our nation began to lose its right to not have the right to the First Amendment several weeks ago when Elon purchased 9% of Twitter. Then after several weeks of Elon flirting with the idea of buying Twitter outright, and then attempting to, only to have Twitter's board block his attempt with a poison pill loyalty to the tyrants move, Elon outmaneuvered their tactics and bought all the remaining Twitter shares for $44 billion. Before we convince you how bad saving free speech is for your future and the future of your nuclear family that we're trying to destroy, here's Elon's statement about why he bought Twitter outright. Free speech is the bedrock of a functioning democracy and Twitter is a digital town square where matters vital to the future of humanity are debated. I also want to make Twitter better than ever by enhancing the product with new features, making the algorithms open source to increase trust, defeating the spam bots, and authenticating all humans. Twitter has tremendous potential. I look forward to working with the company and the community of users to unlock it. Elon is just so hysterical and obviously full of rage that it's hard to make out what he's trying to say. So for a more nuanced take on the matter, let's see what the left has to say. Well said. And when we asked the leader of the Wokes to apologize for being white, she responded by saying, I am so sorry. <laughs> Apology accepted. Now approximately everyone in the world has been commenting on Elon's successful Twitter takeover including former Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey, who said, Elon is the singular solution I trust. I trust his mission to extend the light of consciousness. You can probably remember a year ago when Mr. Dorsey was testifying in front of the Senate, basically saying, what laptop? And we told you to love him. But now that Jack Dorsey is in a position to voice his own thinking and not toe the line of our wonderful agenda that involves shutting people the up when they disagree with us, we'd like to officially instruct you to hate him, starting now. From henceforth, you'll now know Jack Dorsey as a racist, homophobe, transphobe, gluten-sympathizing white nationalist. And our non-binary sister station, CNN, has been all over the Elon Musk buying Twitter story. Take a look at this guy that nobody watches saying something that nobody watched. Moving along. With free speech supporting Elon taking over Twitter, many leftists have taken to the airwaves and declared they're leaving Twitter. And in related news, Zuby says, the same people who didn't move to Canada and didn't delete Spotify are now going to not delete their Twitter accounts. Ah, follow through requires integrity, doesn't it? Mm. Integrity is worse than free speech. But it's not all fun and games for Elon as he'll be taking Twitter off Wall Street as a publicly traded company, turning it private so he can better destroy the world with it, will there be any company left? As a lot of Twitter employees are leftists, and a qualification to be hired at the company in recent years is having a master's degree in wokeology, will there be any employees that stick with the company? Or will they be storming out of the company and driving home in their Teslas they bought because they love Elon for saving the environment as they think about how much they hate Elon for saving free speech? We'll find out. And for any of the employees that do leave the company, I think they'll be honoring the courageous legacies of all the brave people throughout history that have come before them and fled free market capitalist societies in order to escape the horrors of free speech. This just in! President Trump says he will not be rejoining Twitter. The right is disappointed, and the left is severely disappointed, oddly enough. And let's not forget how Elon Musk buying Twitter to transform it into a free speech platform started. The Babylon Bee awarded Rachel Levine, the winner of the Woman of the Year Award, 
with the Man of the Year Award. Twitter then suspended the Babylon Bee's account. Elon then reached out to the Babylon Bee's founder, Seth Dillon, to confirm that they had been suspended. They confirmed. Then Musk even mused on the call that he might have to buy Twitter. Then he bought Twitter. So when you think about it, the hand of censorship on Twitter caused the death of censorship on Twitter. Huh. So kids, I guess the lesson here is don't stir the hornet's nest. Or in this case, stir the Babylon Bee's hive because you never know who has their back. And upon finalizing the purchase of Twitter, Elon tweeted, I hope that even my worst critics remain on Twitter because that is what free speech means. Now with a sentiment like that, so eloquently stated, expressing compassion, acceptance, and inclusivity for people in their diversity of perspectives, we can only conclude one thing about Elon Musk. He is in fact racist. All hail censorship. Our agenda is never gonna succeed if we can't keep exterminating truth. Now we need to get Twitter kicked off the internet like we did with Parler last year. If you know anyone who can help us with such a thing, please send an email to klaus at worldeconomicforum.com. Now for you, please keep your eyes glazed over and keep repeating to yourself over and over, free speech is dangerous until you start to believe it. We're gonna regroup, make some calls, do some assassinations, and we'll see you next time where we'll give you an update on what you should think and what actions you can take to help save the Great Reset from being completely destroyed by Elon Musk. Good night.